Uh, my name is Claude Gros. Uh, I'm from Canada. I've been living the last five years in Miami. And this would be my third uh, Olympia this year. I came here like 10 days ago. Uh, it's much better for me to be here in Venice so I can do my photo shoot with the, all the photographer. And normally I, I can focus more as I'm getting close to the show than being in Miami and know that I'll have to travel maybe a couple days before the show. So I came almost three weeks out and it's been helping me a lot just to focus on my contest and being able to do the photo shoot before rather than do them after the Olympia. Uh, it's pretty much the same preparation, except that uh, last year I was ready a little bit too early. I was, I was in top condition like three weeks out of my show. So that's why, because I started the diet about uh, 12 weeks out last year, which was too long for me. I normally don't go too high off season. My body fat stay around 10%. So this year what I did, I start dieting only seven weeks out, which is not too long, but uh, it worked pretty good for me. I'm almost the same uh, condition I was last year at the same time, two or three weeks out. And I'm a little bit fuller, so I'm not going to do the same mistake. I did a couple of mistakes last year, getting ready too early. I start eating more carbs, trying to fill up uh, the last two weeks, but it just uh, made me retain water as I was getting closer to the show. So this year, I'm just going to continue what I'm doing right now another week at least and then the last couple days I eat a little bit more carbs but not not as much as I used to I want to try to keep my waist uh, line a bit smaller this year well, that was another mistake that I did before like getting ready for a show and training too hard the last couple of weeks and you just get burnt out and then the day of the contest like you, your body is not responding you feel you're flat you feel you don't get a pump backstage you're just exhausted so uh, now this year I'm the last three weeks, I'm still training uh, hard, but I try to split my uh, training time. I train like for 35 minutes in the morning and another 35 minutes at night. And uh, I try to not do as much cardio as I used to. I used to do an hour a day the last three weeks. Now I'm doing only 30 minutes. And I feel that I recuperate much more. And my body is not tired like I used to be. So I think for the for the day of the show, I'm, uh, it's going to show that uh, I'm not exhausted on stage, you know, because you, you need a lot of energy when you, for that, the, the posing, the prejudgment, prejudgment is really hard. If you're not in, uh, in your top condition, I mean, you're not at your best, you're, you're tired, you're exhausted from your workout, uh, you're not going to do well on stage. All you did before is going to be a waste. And my, my diet didn't change much from last year. You know, it's, uh, a lot of fish, a lot of chicken. I still eat uh, red meat at least three times a week. And uh, the, only, the main difference is that I'm not uh, gonna go crazy on carving up this year. And I'm not gonna increase my carb now because I'm, my condition is very good. And I, last year, everybody were telling me three weeks out, 
oh, you're ready, you can go on stage tomorrow. So it kind of uh, played with my head a little bit. And I, I started eating more carbs, thinking that my body will respond and the muscle will just get bigger. But I just started holding water. It didn't do me any good. So I'm going to stay with my plan this year, try to go as tight as I can with a smaller waist. Uh, I, I, I don't play with my sodium too much. I keep the sodium intake up till uh, five days out to the show. Not eating too much, but I try to eat at least just enough to, uh, that I don't have any cramping or any problem uh, working out. Because I find out when your sodium is too low, you, sometimes you can tear a muscle because you need the sodium for the contraction. You, you dehydrate too early, you have no sodium, you're going to hurt yourself. And it's not worth it. You need the energy to train with the sodium. Well, I do that like uh, from the Monday to the show, I'm going to start cutting my sodium to almost nothing. And uh, normally the morning of the show, I start eating a bit of sodium. Because you, if you, do, you go with a complete, completely without sodium, you're going to have a flat look on stage. You're not going to get a good pump. You need the sodium just to pump, the, to be more vascular, to get a good pump. You need that sodium. Yeah, that, that, that was the remark I was getting from a lot of people that I always present a very good physique, but my posing was not the best, so I don't know how to show the best of my physique. That could. And uh, this is true because I think uh, at that level, at Olympia, if you don't know how to show your physique, you, right away from the start, you're out of the top 10. Because they, they make their mind of the first look they see of the guy on stage. And, if you're not your best, you don't show your, your posing at your best, uh, you minimize your chance to uh, have a good placing. So that's what I, I asked this year Milos to help me out because I think he's one of the guy who he did almost 70 show and it was always one of his strong points in the posing. The guy knew how to show his physique, knew how to look good all the time on stage. So he told me himself that he could uh, really help me a lot this year and that I can show my physique a lot better than I did. In the past, the, the the training and the food and supplement and everything, I'm pretty much uh, confident with what I did before because I know how to bring my my physique in uh, condition. It was mainly my posing that was lacking. I knew it, but uh, I never had somebody to. Uh, in Florida, I couldn't find anyone that could help me really good there, and that's another reason why I came early. I came three weeks out so I can work with Milos you know, on the posing the last couple of days. Uh, he gave me a lot of good pointers and uh, did a couple of change in my compulsory, which make a big difference. I think uh, people will see a different uh, different cloud when they see me on stage this year. I, I know it's going to be a strong show like last year. Even the, know that even though Jay Cutler is not there, Sean Ray is not there, you got Flex coming back and a couple of new guys that they were, probably have a good chance to be in the top ten. So it's going to be another tough show. But uh, who knows, anything can happen, you know, if, uh, the day of the show, that's what everything happened. If you're in shape, the day of the show, you can play as good. You can be in good shape three weeks out like I did last year and mess up the last couple of days. And then you will uh, just do a play, an appearance without placing good. So I don't know. I'm, I'm uh, hoping to be in the top 10, but who knows what can happen. I'm going to try my best and see what happens. I'm just happy to be there. It's my third Olympia. It was my dream to be there once at least, and I did it three times, so I think it's a good achievement just to be there. Right now I'm uh, about 234, and I'm 5'7". I think last year at, at this time I was like 228, so I think uh, I'm a little bit fuller, mostly in, in the upper body. I think chest and arm, I got a little bit more size. Uh, I'd be probably the most body fat, the, the same body fat as last year. Uh, good condition, but I think uh, people are going to see that uh, I did a lot of improvement since last year. I just want to thank uh, all the fans. I received a lot of email recently wishing me good luck. And when I came down here to uh, Los Angeles, many people came up to me and say uh, good luck with uh, Olympia and everything. It's always nice to feel that people care about you. Uh, I wish I can uh, show the best of the they can be proud of me.
Yeah. <sighs> 